Hi, I'm Rachel Gray. Welcome to my cooking channel. It's fall. It's soup time. So I'm going to take this butternut squash and turn it into a delicious soup. Just a little um, confession. Butternut squash is not my favorite thing, but I really do love this soup. I'm not the sweet kind of person. I'm not, it doesn't have maple syrup in it. It's not, it doesn't have orange juice in it. It doesn't have brown sugar. I feel like butternut squash is sweet enough on its own. So let me show you how I do my butternut squash soup, and I'm sure you're gonna love it. The first thing we need to do is preheat our oven to 375. Then take about a tablespoon of butter and butter a casserole dish. And once I've got that buttered, I'm just gonna set it aside until I'm ready for it. Now I need about a two pound butternut squash, and I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the skin on. They are a little dirty, so I do like to wash it. Now that I have it rinsed off, I'm gonna take a sharp knife and I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna to take the top off, and I'm gonna take the bottom off. And then I'm just gonna cut it into eight pieces. I'm gonna cut it right here at the neck, and then I'm gonna cut the bulb part down. And then this is where all the seeds are. And I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape those seeds out with a spoon. It's a little like getting your pumpkin ready. To me, it smells exactly like a pumpkin. And then once I have the seeds scooped out, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those one more time. And then I'm gonna take this long piece and I'm just gonna cut it into fourths down one and then turn it and down again. I'm just gonna put this into my baking dish. I'm gonna put it skin side down against the butter part. And then we're gonna do our parsnips. So we wanna peel our parsnips and I need about a pound of parsnips. So um, once I've peeled them, I've got this long skinny piece and it's gonna have a tendency to just kind of shrivel it. So I'm just gonna let that go. Once I get to the thicker parts, I'm gonna have like about a two inch piece. And then I'm just gonna take the fat part and divide that again. What I want is um, kind of the same size piece. I don't want them too small. I'm just gonna go ahead and add one more since I don't think that was quite a pound once I've peeled them. And I'm going to add my parsnips um, to my butternut squash. So I'm going to take a quarter of a cup of water and just add it to my baking dish. Then I'm gonna cover it with foil. This will create steam in my baking dish. And now I'm gonna put it in the oven at 375 degrees for 50 minutes until everything in there is nice and tender. If you have a steam oven, you don't need to do this step. You can just put it right into your steam oven and steam it on 210. In a steam oven, it'll take 30 to 40 minutes. I just took my vegetables out of the oven, and you can tell that they're done if you stick a fork in there and it slides right out, then you can tell that they are tender. And while those are cooling, we're gonna chop up our, and start to saute our onion. I just cut the ends off the onion, and then slice it down that way. And then I just go ahead and peel last layer off. I'm just gonna slice up my onion up and literally it does not matter how you slice it because we are going to puree this so it won't matter. And I'm also going to need some time to go with this onion. So um, I just picked this from my garden and what I do is I just grab a hold of it and just lightly pull back. And I'm going to use two teaspoons of fresh thyme. So I've got two tablespoons of butter that I'm gonna melt into this pot. And then to that, I'm gonna add my sliced onions and my thyme. And I'm just gonna go ahead and saute that on a medium low heat until they're softened. It's gonna take about eight to 10 minutes. Once the onions are softened, then I can go ahead and take my cooled vegetables and add them to my pot. I'm just gonna take the butternut squash and scoop it right out of the skin. I'll just put the flesh right into the pot. Now that I've got the butternut squash scooped out of its skin and it's in the pot with the thyme and the onions, I'm just gonna add a few more ingredients. We're going to add one small clove of garlic. 
Going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And I'm gonna put a little bit of nutmeg, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I like the whole nutmeg and then I just put it over a microplane. Smells so good. And then I'm going to add a box of chicken stock. And that's four cups. And then I'm just gonna let this mixture simmer for 30 minutes. This will give it a chance for all the flavors to melt and then we'll blend it up. So I've let this simmer for a little bit longer than 30 minutes. You can put it in a blender and blend it all up, or I'm just gonna use a stick blender and I'm just gonna put it in there and then we're just gonna puree it. If you do use a blender, make sure you vent the top because it's hot and it will build up pressure and explode. So make sure you vent the top. Once you puree it, it might be a little bit too thick. So you can add a little bit more chicken stock or water, either one, just to make it the consistency that you want. Once it's all blended up, you know, pour it back into the pot and then go ahead and add one cup of half and half or like a half a cup of heavy cream. And then you just want to heat that through. And then you want to check for the seasoning. So just add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And there you have it. It's butternut squash soup. It's a fall favorite. Watch out Panera. This is way better than what you've got. You can find this recipe and over 200 other recipes on my blog, cookingwithrachel101.com. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Subscribing is free. Thanks for watching.